From all indications, the killer or the killers were, were in his house, were around him 24 hours before he left this simple war. The police, we know you can do this job. Find the killer. We are believing and trusting on the process of the corona inquest. We are believing and trusting on the efforts of Lagos State Government. The killer will be found. We are supporting you, we are standing by you. Find the killer for the sake of our children, for the sake of the peace of this country. For the soul of this country, find the killer. Because that is justice for us. Justice for Bobad is justice for your son. Justice for me. Justice for you when you visit any other house. Justice for you when you visit any other facility. Justice for you when you walk around. Justice for you when you have a dream and nobody is thinking of cutting short your life because your dream is glowing. Justice for you, not because when you won a contract, somebody is unhappy, feeling that, okay, you too, you got it. Justice for you when you win an election and then the opponent is not feeling like, let me take his or life. Justice for you when your son is brilliant and somebody is saying, let me take his or life because he's going to be the star of the family, of the community. We want a society where everybody can live in peace can go, grow and grow in peace, even visit, including visitors to Nigeria. We owe the duty to this country to stand firm and play our part to ensure that justice, which is one of the pillars of a society, is firm and is working well. You are not doing the wrong thing if you stand for justice. You are, you are doing the wrong thing when you stand on the other side of it, which is anti-justice. Anti-justice is not acceptable, it's not negotiable, we don't want it. Trust me, trust God, justice for Mubad will come to life. The light will come on the darkness on this matter. We are saying this and we're passing this message. We want the government to bring resources together. We want you to dig deeper. You know you can find the truth. The truth is still lying there. Nothing can be done to it. Go there and find the truth out. And let this peace come. And let's find closure. Because without that, we'll continue to come out continue to sacrifice, we we'll continue to sweat, we we'll continue to risk our everything but it's just to serve. Let's find the truth. 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 Let's find
that started posting and was demanding justice from Obad. And I was about the first person to write official letter. I was the first person to take a bold step and initiated that a peaceful protest should be initiated so that we can have the truth out. But of course, fighting for justice, fighting for human rights is not competition. So we don't need to know who is number one, who is number two. It is one of those theories that they will use to try to gag or to weaken the quest for justice. There is no, there is no time that is too late. Until, uh, even if justice is served, people can still queue in into justice. So whoever wants to come in now can still come in because at the end of the day, nobody, including those that thought they started, they don't know what killed Mobad, who killed Mobad. Even the police don't, don't even know yet. So it means that the case is still as fresh as anything. It's quite unfortunate, one year down the line, it's making it look like it's been a long time. But kudos to those that held forth on social media and all of that. We're all there, we're fighting. But now that I feel like, okay, the case is getting weaker and I need to stand in fully, come out fully, and I need to come out when it will look like I'm in competition with anybody. Because of course, we live in a society and social media, they find a way to misconstrue things. And I don't want to make it look like I am after anybody or I'm trying to rival somebody. And that was what I was acting, propagating the you know, the gospel of justice underneath. However, when I look at the whole matter, I was able to do my quick, proper investigation through my NGO, Break the Silence Foundation. And I noticed some certain lacunas and I felt like, okay, you know what? I have to give back to the society. It is not gonna be about me alone. I have to understand that every other person deserves and have right to life. Every other person have got right to live. Bobad has got right to justice, but he's not alive to demand justice. What is my duty? Duty of care. I need to stand in for him like every other person. And I felt it's still the right time because at the end of the day, we still want closure. We want justice. We want people to be tried for the crime because only, only an hypocrite would consider or conclude that that was a natural death. And at the end of the day, we realize that number one thing from my investigation, CCTV have been installed in all the houses, in and outside. In that kind of a building, there is no, there is no sense that they will install CCTV outside and they will not be inside. And if you go and do your investigation as a journalist, ask for the audience of neighbors around. Ask them to that have the same building like Bobad, in the same street, in the same area. Ask them to open their houses. You will realize eventually that it is only the interior of Bobad's house that there is no CCTV. Then it's, it makes you, don't make you, if you have a conscience to say, why? It was when this person is claimed to have been killed in the house or died in, in the house, that is when his own CCTV is missing. Who did this job? Who is trying to obstruct police investigation? That is a serious criminal offense. That is trying to play on the intelligence of the people. And secondly, I, from my investigation, all the CCTV in all the, all the, each, all the houses, in each flat, they are not stored in that house. They don't have a central, they have a central storing system. In that estate, under the auspices of a security team, and then the person in charge of the CCTV and the head of security needs to be, you know, police need to act quickly because there is nothing in that that can be deleted. They cannot delete, except they want to delete the entire footage of the estate. So, naturally, the evidence is still lying there. And that is where they thought that if they can take this away, if they can bribe their way, if they can get law enforcement to compromise, that truth will die a natural death. And I'm saying it to them, not on your life. How many do you want to kill? We are fighting that children, everybody should be safe. That is what we all owe. But what do you want to give to your country with the little time you want to spend on earth? How are you going to continue to give in fear of death? That is not what you should be getting scared of because at the end of the day, if you live in your country as a prisoner, you're already dead. you rather die as a free man than, than, live, than live as a prisoner in your own country where it's democratic. So those are the things they need to do. And then phone forensic. What is stopping the police? It's not going to cost them anything. The only thing that would rather probably cost money is the person that will go into the cameras, into the storage, and then drag out. Meanwhile, because it's high cloud, the central service system, it's just a matter of the date. They type the date it will take them to all the footages of particular building and they will see clearly and the, that scene must not that day must not be missing because the camera was working on that day there are evidence that it is working on that day if they say we are lying they should open the storage the judge should give an order or police should get an order the family the lawyer 
as well as the police should go to the system and see for themselves what transpired that day from day one from 1 uh, 1200 to 12 to 12 uh, 11 59 p.m you will see the truth and let the people let's let's let the world let us know the truth and so that we can have closure so why is everybody dodging away from that why do they think the Nigeria people are not intelligent enough to know that because at the end of the day none of the houses go and do your research none of the houses there they have CCTV staircase everywhere but they don't have a, they don't have a storage in their in their flats there is a central storage system that is the person that they need to bring to question it the